Hi everyone, this is Sandy. Welcome to Easy Cooking. So last weekend I reached 300 subscribers. Thank you all for your awesome support. I really appreciate it. And to celebrate, I decided to make a special dinner. I'm going to be roasting a chicken. It's going to be a citrus and fresh herbs roasted chicken. This one is a little more complicated than the rest of the recipes I have in this channel. This one is a special occasion kind of dinner, so it takes some time. But I promise every step, every minute is worth it because at the end you will have a delicious dinner to share with your friends and family. If you replace the chicken with a turkey, this one will make a terrific uh, Thanksgiving dinner or a Christmas dinner. You can also prepare it ahead of time so you don't have to prepare it the same day that you're cooking it. The preparation time is about 20 minutes and then we we'll have to refrigerate it for about 4 hours or overnight. And the cooking time is about 50 to 60 minutes. Let's get started. Let's go through the ingredients. We need one whole chicken, one and a half tablespoons of fresh rosemary, one and a half tablespoons of thyme, one tablespoon of sage, two tablespoons of minced garlic, plus three whole cloves. We also need a third of a cup of unsalted butter, softened, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, the zest and juice of one orange, plus the zest and juice of one lemon. Finally, we need about two tablespoons of smoked paprika, salt, and ground black pepper to taste. To go along with the chicken, I'm also roasting some corn, potatoes, and onions. So we need about three ears of yellow corn, cut in quarters, and about one pound of potatoes, also cut in quarters. I'm using a combination of red and white potatoes, but you can use any kind of potato you like. And finally, we also need one red onion, chopped in big chunks. Let's get started. We're going to chop the fresh herbs. I already chopped the rosemary. Now for the thyme, hold the sprig at the top and run your fingers down in the opposite direction of the way that the leaves grow. So hold it from the top and run your fingers down in the opposite direction and that's it. The leaves are really tiny so there is no need to chop them at all. For the sesh, remove the leaves from the stem, line the leaves together, fold them in half and start chopping. Chop again in the opposite direction for smaller pieces. Combine the butter with the olive oil, the fresh herbs, and the minced garlic. Also add the orange zest, the lemon zest, and half a cup of orange juice, and a tablespoon of lemon juice. Season with half a tablespoon of each, salt, ground black pepper, and smoked paprika. Mix everything together, taste for flavor, and add more salt and pepper if needed. Set aside. Rinse the chicken with cold water, inside and out, rinse it really well and pat it dry with some paper towels. Also, dry inside and out. Make sure to dry it really well. We're going to continue working with the chicken, so make sure your hands are really clean. In order to get all the flavors into the meat and not only the skin, I want to loosen the skin from the body a little bit. So place your index finger in between the skin and the meat and start working your way up to the neck and the sides of the chicken. With your finger, push between the skin and the meat without removing the skin completely. You can use your whole hand if you want, just be careful not to remove the skin or tear it apart. Continue to do this until you have loosened the skin from the whole chicken. Using a knife, poke the chicken several times. This is just to make sure all the flavors will be absorbed into the rest of the meat. Now we're ready to start seasoning the chicken. Drop the butter mixture under and on the skin. Make sure to massage it really well under the skin first. We want all those delicious oils from the rosemary and the rest of the flavors to fully impregnate the meat, making it as delicious as the skin itself. So focus on getting that delicious buttery seasoning under the skin first. And then pour whatever is left on the chicken and rub it very well on the skin. Don't forget to do the back as well. Season with salt, ground black pepper and paprika, about half a tablespoon of each on each side. Give it one last rub and we're almost done. At this point the chicken is perfect the way it is. You can go ahead and refrigerate it for about 4 hours before you cook it. If you have time you can refrigerate overnight. It will only make it better. So this following step is optional, you don't have to do it, but it takes 5 minutes and it will make the chicken 10 times more delicious and juicy, so I'm going to do it. Fill the chicken cavity with one half of the orange that we used earlier, also add the remaining half of the lemon and 3 garlic cloves. And if you have any leftover fresh herbs, also put them inside the cavity. 
And that's it. Refrigerate for four hours before cooking or overnight if you have time. We're going to bake at 400 degrees for 30 minutes and then we're going to turn it around. This is how it looks after the first 30 minutes in the oven. I'm going to turn it around so it will get brown in the other side as well. And I'm going to add in the corn, the red onions and the potatoes. Season with some olive oil, salt and ground black pepper. Place back in the oven at 400 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes or until the chicken is completely cooked. Transfer the chicken to a serving plate, remove everything you put inside the chicken, orange skin, lemon wedges, garlic and everything else. Stir the potatoes, corn and onions in the chicken juice and transfer to the same plate with the chicken. And that's it. Enjoy. I really hope you like this recipe. Please don't forget to visit my blog to print this and some other delicious recipes. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future updates. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.